now that I'm on trial, you know, like I say, now that I'm asking myself questions because I heard my niece say that it's what I said. So I'm trying to like go over what I said and um, try to explain it. Because like I said, whatever I said, I said. But I don't know if I said it from a place of hurt, anger, confusion, you know, because I'm fighting a lot of different things because I'm fighting what people believe. And I'm fighting what a lot of people believe. And I'm not talking about a lot of people in the per se of, uh, of people as bodies. I'm talking about people as percentages in my life, right? Because I don't have many friends nor associates, right? So when you speaking on percentages, say if I got five friends, right? And two of those friends uh, believe me, and two of those friends don't, and one of those friends don't care. See how I'm still suffering because I only had five friends? So I'm dealing on percentages here, right? Now my devil that I, I've read in the Bible, see he had angels in heaven. So now think about this. If we talking about a spiritual war being fought against me who only got five friends now, right? Now Jesus had 12 disciples. Right? I got a wife, two kids, and five friends. Now, my friends been my friends a long time, right? But my wife was my girlfriend before she became my wife. So when we break this down, or excuse me, when I was breaking this down to its smallest minute detail, I had to prove to my girlfriend who chose to be my wife that I had changed, that I wasn't the same, I wasn't her boyfriend, I'm her husband. Because when I was her boyfriend, I got kicked out of school for fighting. So see, I'm trying to, you know, this is when I was trying to tell one of my oldest friends who graduated a year before I got kicked out of school for fighting, but he was in school when I got kicked out of school for fighting a teacher, and I came back to school in three days because the teacher put his hands on me. But my wife, right, who is my girlfriend, see, I mean, well, my wife, who was my girlfriend at the time, was in the class with me when I got into it with the teacher. So when you was asked, telling me I had a grandchild, I'm saying, man, I'm trying to talk to my girlfriend. I ain't trying to hear that. But see, you will say, Tommy crazy, Tommy crazy. And I'm saying, maybe, man, maybe, right? But I know that my girlfriend is my wife. And I know that my wife know what her boyfriend would do so i'm talking to my wife and telling my wife that her boyfriend done changed but i understand that life has moved on but i'm trying to get my wife to understand don't ever forget about your boyfriend because that's the person you fell in love with not this person here that's the father of your children. See what I'm saying? So you got to understand that this is a transition. See, I'm still your boyfriend, but you made me the father of your children. So now I'm not fighting that teacher for my respect. I'm fighting that teacher for our children. See what I'm saying? And see, now you went to school with me, so I'm funny. See what I'm saying? Like, I'll have you laughing, but what I'm saying 
you will miss. See, that's why I like comedians like Cat Williams, um, uh, Chris Rock, um, D.L. Hughley, um, David Chappelle. See, I like those kind of comedians, but I like the other comedians too. But I like those comedians because I hear the political correctness in their jokes. See what I'm saying? Because what they're doing is they educating you through comedy. See what I'm saying? And so that's why a lot of them are under scrutiny because they don't know how to stop them publicly like they did Dr. Martin Luther King and Minister Malcolm X, see? So what they do is they slander them publicly. And see, once you start that, then what can the person do? And that's what they've done to me. See what I'm saying? What they did was they slandered me in my friend's understanding, right? And then they started voting. Oh man, Tommy crazy, man. Tommy boom, 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 boom. Nine, it's not about the evidence of who I became. It's about the evidence of who I was. And I'm trying to tell my friends, hey man, I'm 53 now. I ain't 17. I'm not 15. So what are you talking about? What person you talking about? Because when we were kids, I didn't have kids. I didn't have my first child until I was 20 years old. But my I was married at 19. So what child did you know me having or what father? Like, how do you know me as a father? when you went your way and I went mine. 